Hello, my name is Professor Michael Mall. I'm a professor of applied physics here at Columbia University, and I'm delighted to talk to you about our uh, Master's of Science program in Applied Physics offered through the CBN program. Uh, what I'd like to do is talk to you a little bit about what applied physics is here at Columbia University. Um, I'll make some definitions and uh, explain both historical and modern examples of what makes applied physics so exciting. I'll describe a little bit about the faculty and your instructors who will be teaching the courses. I'll briefly introduce our curriculum, uh, talk about the type of things you'd be learning in the Master's of Science program, and then uh, uh, give my impressions of the students that we have here and the students who'd be interested in this program. So what is applied physics uh, and applied physics here at Columbia University? Applied physics is a relatively new discipline that brings together um, uh, the, our basic theories and basic discoveries in modern physics and engineering to look together for applications uh, that are practical and the practical use of our modern theories of, uh, of physics and discoveries. Uh, it's a relatively new field. I think one of the best ways to illustrate what applied physics is is to look at some of the historical examples that started the whole field of applied physics going. I can think of three right off the top of my head. Um, one of the first is uh, the klystron and the magnetron and the use of, of uh, um, uh, electromagnetic part electrical particles accelerated in order to produce coherent uh, uh, microwave and millimeter wave radiation. This spawned an important new um, uh, um, field a uh, commercial field, not only the uh, generation of radar for detecting objects that are moving, but also for communication, where we modulate the uh, frequencies. Uh, satellite communications all use uh, microwave-based or millimeter-wave-based uh, klystrons and microwave oscillators that take electrical energy, convert that into um, uh, coherent radiation that we can detect here on Earth uh, for modern communications, spawn a billion-dollar industry. Next thing that comes to mind is, is the transistor, one of the best examples of applied physics in our history. How do we blend together um, uh, very pure ways, technologies to make very pure materials, very clean materials, with quantum mechanics and our understanding of the physics of solids, solid state physics, to st spawn an entire revolutionary field where we um, miniaturize our electrical switches um, uh, and, and develop ways of, uh, uh, of having microelectronics, amplifiers, transistors, switches, memory, the whole the whole revolution in, in computers is really spawned on an, an applied physics breakthrough uh, in, uh, called the transistor. And then the third um, uh, thing that comes to mind is a laser, uh, bringing together our understanding of atomic physics with quantum mechanics in order to produce coherent um, light uh, and radiation uh, from a quantum mechanical phenomena uh, spawned from the uh, breakthroughs and discoveries of the early part of the 20th century. These examples each illustrate profound changes in technology and science that came from combining our discoveries in physics with smart people who want to apply them for practical purposes. Each of them spawned entire industries and fields of commercial activity that changed the face of technology on, on Earth. And these are the type of things that we're looking for constantly in applied physics, taking our new discoveries in physics and turning out a way to apply them for practical purposes. Um, applied physics is naturally interdisciplinary. A lot of the breakthroughs that happen in science and technology happen when multiple fields that are different come together. And that's what we mean by interdisciplinary study, and applied physics is one of those. Um, um, it requires students who are interested in thinking in the broad sense, uh, not just narrowly, but uh, uh, knowledgeable in a wide range of physics subjects, mechanics, quantum mechanics, electrodynamics, and optics understand applied mathematics, using mathematics to model the real world, um, electronics and material science. Those are the realms in which the applied physics student works in. Tremendous opportunities exist when these traditional fields of physics, engineering, mathematics combine forces and work together. Things that come to mind, nanoscale science, making new smaller devices, interfaces with biology, uh, the sort of inorganic and organic interface, uh, material science, semiconductor devices, electro-optics is another area, new energy technologies that require understanding uh, matter and films at very small scales that can be more efficiently used to convert uh, energy into uh, practical electricity and, and, and the such. These are the forefronts of areas of modern uh, applied physics. Uh, who, are the, who are the faculty in our program? Um, the applied physics program is uh, managed by the Department of Applied Physics and Applied Mathematics. We have over 30 um, faculty, joint faculty, instructors that are uh, responsible for our program. 
All of these are leading experts in their fields of research. Uh, they're really, this is the hallmark of our program. Um, the instructors and teachers are very active in their research areas. Uh, the faculties and instructors who teach our CBN courses are the same that teach our normal courses. They bring their re research experience, their expertise into the classroom uh, in, in, when you take your courses. These insights, I think, are very valuable to the um, a student to get a, a sense for where the field is going. Columbia University faculty are um, involved with many research activities in our laboratories here and laboratories around the country. Uh, these include nanoscale science and engineering, uh, miniaturizing uh, our understanding of, of electronics uh, to the size of just a few atoms, uh, optical physics and wave phenomena in a whole variety of ways, uh, the quantum behavior of matter and especially of, alter, of atomic films, thin films uh, at very low temperatures, high temperature ionized matter, what we call that plasma physics. Uh, this is the uh, physics of the surface of stars, but also the physics of ionized matter uh, in lighting, in energy sources, and the like, and all materials that are used for our modern information age, and mathematical earth sciences, how we can use mathematics and computation to understand our weather, our climate, and our earth the better. Uh, our department is very unique in the range of subjects that it deals with. We deal with a range of sizes that go from the size of atoms to the size of the planet, to the size of the surface of stars. So we range scales uh, over, over um, such a great distance. We also study matter at a variety of temperatures. We deal with matter in our uh, ultra uh, low temperature laboratories, the condensed matter physics labs that are just a few thousandths of a degree Kelvin above absolute zero, so some of the coldest things known to man we study. We also study ionized matter at a billion degrees. So we deal with the coldest and the hottest the smallest and the largest in our field of study. What sort of curriculum do you have as a master science student? We divide our curriculum into two parts. Our basic core curricula of um, fundamentals in applied physics, we ask you to take four courses out of six, and then we have a whole series of electives where you can sort of custom tailor your interests uh, and your electives for the type of application of applied physics that most suits your, your needs. Our basic courses cover quantum physics of matter, uh, modern optics, laser physics, the physics of fluids, applied electrodynamics, and introduction to plasma physics. You take four of those courses. Uh, we're very interested that you uh, have enough breadth in the basics that you do cover those courses. That covers you know, quantum physics and matter. We have two optics, we have an optics and a, and a laser course. So those are some of the um, uh, very, very important um, aspects of transistors, lasers, optics, and materials. Uh, physics of fluids. Uh, very important for understanding uh, aerodynamics, uh, climate, uh, fluid mechanics, microfluidics, uh, plasma physics alike, the uh, uh, collective phenomena of many particles working together in an ionized way, and then applied electrodynamics, everything about uh, the generation of light, microwaves from charged particles, and the interaction of light and um, um, uh, electromagnetic radiation with particles. Very, very uh, broad basic curriculum. We take four of those courses. Then we ask you to take six courses of a long list of electives that suit your interests. These range from applied mathematics, uh, semiconductor devices, electro-optics, um, uh, microwaves, and uh, laser physics, uh, fluid mechanics, uh, plasma physics and, and, and control theory, and, and nanotechnology and material science. Uh, so those are the elective areas, and there's several courses you can take from, from there that fill out your, your master's of science program. Our students. Our students are those interested in the practical applications of the discoveries and theories of physics. Uh, they tend to be those who enjoy fundamental physics, but also have a keen sense of, of application and purpose. Uh, our students should be interested at the intersection of fields, someone who um, brings to the program um, a, a several interests, not just a narrow interest, uh, things like the qu quantum mechanics and also optics, electrical devices, and also solid-state physics, nanoscale science, and also wave phenomena. These are the type of things that when uh, students bring those interests together, uh, we can make breakthroughs in the future. Uh, finally, our students tend to be those that enjoy uh, physics, mathematics, and uh, engineering. Um, uh, mathematics is definitely a prerequisite for this sort of program. Uh, if you have questions, Always feel free to contact your CVN advisor, but also contact me. I'd love to talk to you more about these courses in the program. I want to wish you the very best in your studies, and thank you very much.